In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new dynamic table functionality in Project Explorer 6. And what I'm going to do is to create a dynamic table in my drawing which contains information about the structures in the pipe network listed here, which you can see me highlighting on the screen. The first thing I need to do to create this dynamic table is to create an object set. Now, an object set in Project Explorer is essentially a list of objects with an action assigned to them. So what I'm going to do is to create a new object set. I'll give it a name of object set for structure table. And then I'm going to set an action for this object set. And the action is to create an AutoCAD table in model space. I can then decide whether I want the table to be updated manually or dynamically. So I'll select the dynamic update option for now. And then I can decide on the layout style, which we'll come to in a moment and the table insertion parameters. So what I'll do is pick an insertion point for the table over here. Um, I can set the title cell text to the name of the object, which in this case would be the name of the pipe network. And then I can decide how the table looks um, in terms of line colors and fonts, etc. And I'll come to that in a while. So let's just click OK. And when we do that, we'll see that we have a table created over here. And the content of the table at this point is identical to all of the fields of information that are displayed in the Project Explorer table. We have a table for the pipe network, which is all of these parameters here, and a table for the structures list, which is all of these parameters here. If I go across to the Object Sets tab, you can see that we have our object set listed at the top, and here we have the object stored within it, which at the moment is the uh, pipe network and the sub-object type that we're including in the table is the structures list. Now I can change this structures list to uh, a pipes list if I wanted to. So we can change the type of information that we're displaying in the table. And I have control here over the, the two tables that are created, the pipe network table and the structure table. So if I just literally wanted a list of structures, I can double click this item here to suppress the object table, which is the pipe network level and that will just include the structures table. Now at any point now with this table in the drawing, if I go back to um, modify any of these objects, like changing the structures name, you can see that the table reacts to that change. And equally, if I was to change the location of one of these structures, you'll see that the easting and northing of that table has been changed. Now, you can see that the content of the table at this point is giving me far too many parameters uh, of what I'd typically be interested in. So what I'm going to do is to modify the content of the table by calling up the object set definition and modifying the layout style. So the moment we're using the layout style assigned to the Project Explorer window, but I want to use a specific layout style where I can choose which uh, fields of information I want to display for each structure. So here's the list of fields available to me. The first thing I'll do is turn all of these off and then just select the ones that I'm interested in. So I'm going to go for the structure name, the easting northing, the rim elevation, the reference surface and surface elevation, and the station and offset from the reference alignment. So if I now save this layout style to uh, intro one, that's the name of the drawing, structures table, I'll click save and click OK, close the object set panel. You can see now that that table updates to show just the fields that I've selected. And let's close the prospector panel so that we can see this information in a little more detail. So I can see here that if I go back to the um, Pipe Networks tab that I don't have a reference surface set for these structures at the moment. So let's just select these structures and use the Project Explorer option to set a reference surface. And you'll see that when I make that change to the structures, the table will update itself with the reference surface and the surface elevation. And equally with this reference alignment, um, when I make a change to another alignment, you'll see that the table reacts to those changes. It's also easier now for me to show you 
as I move this first structure in the table that the easting and northing will be updating as I make those changes. So it doesn't matter how I make these changes to the table, um, it will react. So if I go to the prospector window and select pipe networks from here and go to structures let's change this uh, structure name over here to structure uh, X and you can see that change being made there and let's just do that again to make it, sh make it obvious that that structure name was changed The relationship between the structures and the AutoCAD table is being controlled by Project Explorer. So the dynamic relationship between them is only valid when the Project Explorer window is open. So if I was to close the Project Explorer window now and make some more changes to these structures, you'll notice that the table doesn't react. So the Project Explorer window must be open for that dynamic relationship to be um, live. But even if the table is not updated when the Project Explorer window is closed, all we need to do to force the update is to go to the Project Explorer um, option and reopen that panel and then you'll see that table gets updated as soon as the Project Explorer window opens.